So many people ask me how to use Go High Level so they can sell it to businesses. So this video is going to be a full tutorial on how to use every single feature in Go High Level. If you don't know what Go High Level is, it's a SaaS software that's an all-in-one marketing and automation tool with anything a business could ever need all in one place. I have a completely free course on how to do this yourself and make money with it. So if you want to learn how to do that, shoot me a message on Facebook and check out my free course. Now into the tutorial, I'm going to make this as straightforward and to the point as possible so I don't waste any of your time. And before I start, I'm just going to say the best way to get good at Go High Level and in turn be good at selling it is knowing how to use it. You can watch all the tutorials and videos you want, but it's not going to help unless you actually apply that information you learned into a real scenario. So spend time messing around with the software, spend time trying things. I promise you will be so much better after you do that. So the first tab here, we have the launch pad. So this is where you're going to be linking your different accounts, like your Google My Business, your Facebook, uh, and your Stripe account. Now you could do this also in the integration section, but this is kind of like a quick view tab where you can still connect those and kind of manage and see what's connected and what isn't. So we have the mobile app is now installed. That just means once you download the app on your phone and you've logged in to go high level, that will be selected as a check mark. And then you can connect your Google My Business, your Facebook, your Stripe account, Yext if you want to do Yext, and then WordPress. You can do if you wanted to connect the WordPress site. I personally like to use the in-house website builder. WordPress works too, so that's totally up to you. But like I said, this is just a quick view tab where you're going to be able to quickly get to your integrations and see what's connected. I would recommend linking your Google My Business and your Facebook if you have one for the business or for your clients. I would also recommend linking these two for sure because then you'll be able to go onto your dashboard and you'll be able to see all of your stats from interactions on your Google account and your Facebook account as well as how your ads are doing. So this brings us down to the dashboard. So now we have the dashboard. This is basically just kind of an overview of how your sales pipeline is doing. So if you choose to use the opportunity section, which I will go over here in a second, um, this is kind of an overview on your opportunities, which are basically your leads that are open and you're trying to close them and they're going through the sales process. Um, you can kind of set up your opportunity pipeline however you want, and it's not necessary to use it, but it does help organize your leads. So you have the opportunities, closed, open, lost. Pipeline value is essentially just the amount of money per prospect that you have in your pipeline. So if you have 10 leads in your pipeline for the $300 plan, for example, uh, you would have a $3,000 pipeline value, if that makes sense. And then your conversion rate is how many leads that you have compared to how many you actually get closed. And that will be your conversion rate. That's pretty self-explanatory for the most part. And also this is where you'll be able to see, you can select different workflows. You can select your funnels here and give you a visual representation of your funnels. Right here on the right side, you'll see tasks, if any are selected and created in your account, certain tasks that you make for each of your staff members or yourself, you'll be able to see right there on the right side. And if you have your Google or Facebook account connected to Go High Level, down here in the bottom, you will see your organic impressions for your Facebook and your Google account. And if you have ads running as well, you will also see another little tab in this section for your Facebook and your Google ads. And now you can get a better idea of how those ads are doing in the reporting tab. This will just give you kind of a brief overview. The reporting tab will give you a much larger breakdown of all the different metrics that your ad is doing right now. So now we have your conversations tab and that's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's gonna show all of your conversations, whether that be text, email, uh, messages on social media, your Google business leads, um, different things like that. And it's all gonna be in that same place. So it's super easy to communicate back and forth. Uh, so once you have your custom business number set up and everything, that should work totally fine. It should be totally easy to kind of get a hang of that. Um, it's pretty simple. It works like any other messaging app that you'd see. Um, and then in the templates, you can create any custom templates that you want, because if you find yourself messaging prospects or leads the same message a lot, you can just make a template and then it's super easy to respond with it. You can just click send the template and it's as easy as that. And then trigger links. Trigger links are links that you can create inside of emails or text that you're able to track when someone clicks on it. So that's pretty useful when you're trying to see uh, different metrics uh, based on links that you send out in your texts or emails and see how many people are clicking on them and how many people are actually opening the link or just ignoring the text completely. 
All right, now we have the calendars tab, also very self-explanatory. Uh, this is going to show you all the appointments booked from your calendars, and those are going to show up all on this calendar. You could also manually book an appointment through this button here to book onto that calendar, and then it will show you an actual list of all your appointments in the appointments tab. And if you click on calendar settings, that will take you back to your calendar settings where you can edit different things like availability and which one of your staff members is going to take the meetings, etc. I'm going to make another video on how to make Zoom links in the calendar. So when someone books a meeting instead of a phone call, you could have it send them an automatic Zoom link that it creates, a dynamic Zoom link, and you'll be able to just automatically send them the Zoom link so you can join and everything will be all set for when the call starts. All right, so now we have the contact section. Now, again, pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can create new contacts. You can put tags next to their names. So you can keep everything organized. It will show you the last activity over here, last time you messaged them. Um, it'll show you when their contact was created, email, phone number. And if you click into them, you can see any additional information that you have linked to the account, general information, and different things like that. Additionally, from here, you can create new tags to apply to your contacts. You can remove tags. You can send review requests, um, emails or text pretty easily. I typically use the conversations tab for that, but if you need to find a specific person, you can do that in the contacts and send an email or SMS directly through here. And then you can add them to a workflow as well. Also, you can move them down the pipeline. So when we get down to the opportunities tab, I'm going to show you how that works. Um, you can move your contacts down a pipeline depending on where they are in the, in the funnel. Um, so you can kind of track where you're at and who you need to follow up with to get a deal closed. And my favorite part about the contacts, you can import a list from any other website. So if you have a CSV, which is just basically a Excel spreadsheet, um, you can take an Excel spreadsheet from anywhere else and you can just import the contacts in. So this is really great for database reactivation, which I'm going to make another video on. You can take a whole list of contacts, import it, add them to a workflow, and then send out a text with a discount or an offer to all those people. So it's really great for database reactivation. Um, and that adds a ton of value right there. You can import and even export that list of contacts. All right, now we have the opportunities tab. Um, pretty simple. Uh, might be a little bit hard to understand at first, but you can basically break down your pipeline into different sections. So here we have lead, interested, booked appointment, not interested, and sold. And now you have all of these contacts in here in their different sections and you can move them around. So if this booked appointment, you sell him, boom, you put him into sold. If this booked appointment, but he's not interested, you put him into not interested. Um, if this lead ended up, you know, getting a booked appointment, you put him in the booked appointment section and you can really easily track, you know, who you need to follow up with. So if these people are all interested, you can go in and text them or create an automation to text them. So you can follow up with them because they are interested. And that will also show you, you know, how much money you're making. So now there's $500 in the sold section. So now, you know, you just made $500 um, really easily. And you can create multiple different pipelines if you have different kind of tasks that you're trying to organize your prospects into. Um, I try to keep it simple with just one kind of main pipeline, but um, yeah, overall, pretty simple tab. You can create as many pipelines as you want. You can move around the contacts. It's really kind of just an organizational thing, but again, really helpful. So now we have the payments tab. This is where you're going to create your products. This is where you're going to deal with any coupon codes. Coupon codes are new, so you're able to actually create uh, different coupon codes that customers are able to use. So you can do this for yourself or for your clients. Um, you can create any coupon codes, send them out to all your different leads, and uh, they can use those coupon codes when they check out, and it'll give them a discount. Um, this is where you create all of your products. So if you have digital products um, on your website, you're going to create them here, and you're going to import them from Stripe. So you could either import them or just create the products there and paste in the product ID. Um, pretty simple, and that will allow you to create these checkout pages and funnels or however you'd like um, through Go High Level. So that'll link directly to Stripe when someone puts in their payment information into the website. They'll, they're able to check out super easy and the payment will go right to your Stripe account, no issues. And then again, the first page is where you can kind of manage all of your payments, see if anyone's overdue for their payment, um, 
check how many payments are in drafts and how many payments are due. So you can kind of follow up with any clients of yours that might be late or anything like that. Now we have the marketing tab. Uh, pretty simple. There's a social planner so you can manage your different social media accounts um, and plan different posts. I don't use this one too much, but uh, it is very useful. You can go plan out posts for the next week or month and have them scheduled to go up so you don't have to worry about posting them on a certain day. You could have everything planned in here. And then a really great thing is the email campaigns. Now you can go in, create as many email campaigns as you want, and you can blast those out to all of your clients. If you have some type of, you know, for example, a Black Friday deal that you wanted to blast out to all your customers, you can easily do that by creating an email campaign, selecting who you want to want it to be sent to, and then blast out that email campaign super easily. Again, you can create message templates for SMS or email, so you can have those saved. So if you find yourself messaging the same exact thing many times to a bunch of different people, for example, uh, you could just have a template saved. And then anytime someone asks the same question, send the template, saves you a bunch of time, super easy. Trigger links, like I was explaining before, this is just another tab you can get to the trigger links. And affiliate manager. This is also a new tab. With the affiliate manager, you're actually able to create affiliate plans for a business. So say you're managing a clothing store. Now you can create an affiliate plan where you can give certain customers of the store their own affiliate link. So now they can go promote your store, use the affiliate link that you, that you give to them, and that will give them a percentage of whatever the customers buy off the website, which is huge. This is new feature. And I think this is going to be amazing. Um, you know, affiliate plans are always great for businesses. People can actually make profit off of spreading the word about your different types of products or services. And, you know, that's just a great way to get new business. All right. Now we have the automations tab, this tab and the sites tab are probably the two most important tabs that you're going to be learning in go high level. And I would spend the most time here because this is where you're going to be doing most of your work. So the automations tab that lets you create automations for pretty much anything you want inside the business. And there's really so much you can do. Um, I always say you can get so creative with, uh, with these automations. For example, so for example, this is a free teeth whitening offer. Now, this is a pretty simple automation. These can get super advanced. Like if I click here, um, look at all these things on the right side. You can do all of this stuff and you can make if else statements and you can just get super advanced. Like the other day, I had one of my affiliates create the biggest automation I've ever seen. So I'm definitely gonna have to make a video on that. But yeah, that automation was wild. So spend time practicing with these automations. It's really key and that's going to allow you to perform better than your competition in this if you can do more automations and you can provide more value to your customers that's really the name of the game that's what you want to be doing so this tab and the sites tab definitely spend a ton of time practicing and i'm going to be making a much more in-depth video on the automations because it's kind of a really broad topic um, so this video is just more of an overview, but I will be making another video on an in-depth automation tutorial to help you guys learn how to use them. All right. Now we have the sites tab, uh, another tab that you definitely want to be practicing with getting good at. Um, you can build your funnels here, which is just kind of like a one page kind of website. Uh, and then you have your websites, obviously, which is a website. Um, and you want to just get good at the website builder. It's pretty simple take some time to get used to. Um, but again, there's different, all these boxes represent different sections. Um, and you can edit everything pretty easily on the left side here. If you click on a certain element that you want to change, you can add padding on the bottom or the top. Um, just playing around with this will give you a really good idea of how to use it. It's really simple. If you want to change that picture here, change the image. Um, for the most part, I'm also going to make another video on the website builder, uh, cause it's a little more in depth than some of the other tabs, but overall just practice with it. And if you spend, you know, a couple days, a couple hours practicing with it, you're going to get really good at it and you're going to be really good at building websites and stuff for your clients. And in turn, it will take you less time to do that. So definitely practice with this. Now we have the reputation tab, pretty simple. Uh, it basically just deals with all of your Google reviews. 
your automatic Google reviews and you can manually send them out as well to customers based on their name or email. Um, and you can basically just track your Google reviews. Uh, not much to it. Um, you can manage your requests and your actual reviews here. So you can respond to them. And then over here we have the listings and that's where you're going to use Yext. A lot of people have been asking me about Yext. Um, you activate it per account that you want. It's going to list you on 70 plus different business directories. So it's going to boost your SEO, not only uh, because you're being listed on all these different websites, but uh, what's called backlinks. And the backlinks really help boost your SEO and your Google ranking. It's basically what a backlink is. It's, it's basically just a link to your website that's on another website. And when you have a lot of those, it really helps your SEO, your Google ranking. So uh, I really do like Yext. It does help a lot. I find um, it's not instant. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of time for your Google rank to kind of get established once you do Yext. And once you get your Google reviews up um, over time, it really does help your SEO. Um, so great feature, really simple to use. You just set up your account, click activate. It's going to charge you $30 a month. Um, to your cost and your clients, it's going to charge 50. So you get to keep $20. Um, and it, you just literally click activate Yext, put in your information and boom, you're listed on all 70 plus of the websites. And now we have the ads, the ad reporting. If you get, if you create a Facebook or a Google ad, you can link these to the software fairly easily. And from there you can track your impressions, clicks, conversions, ad spend, cost per click, everything for all of your different ad campaigns. Again, I'm going to make another video specifically for Google and Facebook ads and how to connect them to go high level. Um, but this is huge. It lets you track all of your different campaigns all in one place um, and manage you know, how well they're doing, see where you need to allocate more money to and where you need to cut back on your ad spend in, its, in other certain areas. You can see what's working and what's not working. And they have a tab for Google and Facebook ads. Um, these other four tabs over here, to be honest, I don't really use too much. Um, you can definitely play around with them. I really just like the Google and Facebook ads tab over here. Super helpful. Um, yeah. So that's basically uh, an overview of all of the different features for Go High Level and how they work. I'm going to be making some more in-depth videos on certain features like automations and websites and possibly email marketing and text marketing tabs. Um but I do want to say, if this is something you're starting, you're, you're new at, spend the time, spend the effort. This is not some get-rich-quick scheme. There isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. Nothing's going to make you rich overnight. You want to spend the time, put the effort in, and it will pay off, I promise. Um, and I'll help you do that. So if you use my link, just shoot me a message, and I'll get you all the additional resources. I have a Discord and Facebook if you want to join as well, where everybody's going to help each other uh, be successful. So if you need help, shoot me a message on Facebook or Instagram or wherever. I will respond to you. I will help you out. So if you want to get started, just let me know.